Okay, I'm going to show you a couple examples in Delta Math. So I have the example problem here. Um, they've done the drawing for you. This is just an explanation saying that angle O here, so angle O is 90 degrees, and they show you by that right angle. Measure of angle N is 37, and they show you that. Side OM is 46. And I am to find NO to the nearest foot. So I am to find NO, and they show me that with an X. So the first thing you do is you sketch your triangle. So this is sketched on my paper. And then the next thing, so sketch the figure. And then the next thing you do is label your H, your hypotenuse, your adjacent, and your O sides. This is necessary for your trigonometry. And if you've watched the videos, you understand that. So across from the right angle, so if I put my pencil there and trace it right across, this is always, 100% of the time, the hypotenuse. So you put your pencil on the hypotenuse and where the arc number is, and you make, or the degree is, and you make an arc. What touches your hypotenuse in that arc is always the letter A, leaving the, the opposite angle from 37, opposite side, of, sorry, of the angle as opposite is 46. All right, so now you should have your Sokotoa or your sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. I don't like the way that sine looks, hang on. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent, which is opposite over adjacent. So you labeled these sides to see what information they have. So going back to my figure, here's my H. There's no variable or no number here, so H is no good to me. I have an A with a value of X, and I have the opposite with the value of 46. So I have an A and I have an O, and I look to my tri three trig ratios and see what one has an A and an O. Well, this has an O and an H, so that's not it. This one has an A and an H, that's not it. This one has an O and an A, so that one's it. So now I know I can use my trig ratio tan. So let me get some of this out of the way so it's easier to see. I'm going to just take away that H altogether. All right, so from there, you set it up. I know I'm going to have a, use the trig ratio tan. This degree is 37, and you set it equal to your opposite. Remember, tan is opposite over adjacent. So my opposite in this case is 46. That's my numerator. My adjacent is x. That's my denominator. Now I work this equation and I solve it for the variable x. So in, uh, to undo divide by x, which is what this fraction bar means, you multiply both sides by x. So I have x tan 37, the x's cancel out equals 46. Now you need to get x by itself, but you have a tan 37 with that. So you're going to divide by a tan 37. What you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. So this is the value you put in Desmos. So 46 over tan 37. So hopefully I remember that. So in Desmos, I need to make sure I'm in degree mode. And I do, see I already forgot it. <laughs> I already forgot it. It's um, 46 divided by tan 37. 46 divided by tan. Remember, to get your uh, ratios, you click the functions over here on the right, and you see the trig ratios have a tan. And 47, I think it was. So 42.9 rounded to the nearest tenth, 42.9. So this answer, x would be 42.9. That would be my x. So it takes a little bit of work, and I'm going to do another one here. I'm going to follow those same steps. I'm going to sketch it. Well, it's already sketched for me. 
Then I label my sides. Across from the right angle is always my hypotenuse. Put your pencil on the hypotenuse by the degree. Just trace that over. What always touches the hypotenuse and the arc on the that you traced is your adjacent, leaving this angle to be your opposite, or this side to be your opposite. So now look at the variables you have. Um, you've got an H with a value and an O with a value. A doesn't give me anything with it, so I'm going to cross that off. So sine, remember, is opposite over hypotenuse. That's why you have these in your notes. Cosine is O, sorry. Adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent over opposite over adjacent. So looking, I have an H and I have an O. So which trig ratio, ratio uses an O and H? That's sine. So then you begin your problem. You use sine because that's the ratio you need. Whatever this degree is, 29. And then opposite is your numerator. So that's my value of X over your hypotenuse, which is 3. Now it's basic algebra. How do you undo divide by 3? You multiply both sides by 3. So you have 3 sine 29 equals x. This is what you put in Desmos. So 3 sine 29. I'm, I'm in degree mode, so I'm going to put 3. Go to my functions and type sine. I can also type the words S-I-N. 29. So 1.29. 5 rounding to the nearest tenth. I have to make sure that's what they want me to do here. So round to the nearest tenth of a foot. So that would be your answer. And I forgot what it was already. 1.5. So 1.5. 1.5 is the measure of X, or which is really HI. So that's how to find side.